Hey, welcome to my channel. In this video, we'll talk about how to travel with your dogs by car. I filmed the vlog when I was driving from Pennsylvania to Kansas to dog show, and I didn't show you what I brought with me. So I have a list of stuff what I like to take with me because I travel by car often with the dogs, like every probably month or every two months. But I will show you stuff what I take with me to make my dogs travel more comfortable. First, let's talk about carriers. What carriers you need to buy to travel with the dog. I will start with the smallest. These two I use when I go on a plane. Or if I go somewhere close by, I don't need like a big crate or something. So this one is brand Sharpa. I bought this a long time ago when first time I traveled with my dogs on a plane. But we're kind of talking about travel by car, right? So, but anyway, so if you want to travel by plane, you take this, this type. It's easy to open on the top here. Here, on the side. Ta -da. I always have this information tag with me. It has handles, mesh here mesh here, pocket here. Next one, brand, uh, it's called Fat Mate. Almost the same design, only this one extend. Like this. You can unzip inside. Here. See, you can unzip here. Dirty because my dogs travel there and I didn't wash it. So, yeah. You see, it. Extend it like this and your dog has so much more space on the plane or in a car. Next one, it's this. Hello. Good for the planes if your dogs fly cargo, which my dogs doesn't. I use this if I go for short distance travel, it's open like this. You have little hat in there. Hey, you wanna go in? Okay. Ideally, your dog needs to stand inside crate carrier, stand and easily rotate. And next type of carrier I use, this is crate. This crate always go in my car when I go for dog show or long distance travel with my dogs. I pick medium size because I can fit comfortably two dogs in there and they have like nice squishy pillow in there and a water bottle. I prefer this type of water bottles. Work for me fine. My dogs train how to drink from this water. A couple of things I don't like about this bottle. It's dripping sometimes, but it's not a lot. Another, my dogs can knock it off and it's will fill inside the crate and make a mess. So I bought this bunch of quartz. I bought the smallest what I could find. I just put on one side of the door, wrap around the bottle and attach to the other side of the door. And I also have this cover. So I can easily close it all the way like this. My dogs like to travel with the cover on it, so it's less stimulation for them because other way if they see stuff around, they will bark all the time and they will never rest. That way they rest, they sleep almost 90% of the travel time except the time when we go out for walks. I show you all my carriers, what they have, but you don't have to have all three of types. You just pick one for work for you and uh, buy accordingly your dog size. Item number two I always take is my own water. This is bags I bought on Amazon. They are set of four, I think it's 10 liters, two point something gallons, remember? And I fill it from my fridge. I put ice so it's cooler longer and always 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 travel with my own water because the water on final destination it's different than water i have at home and if i give my dogs water from the top over there if they drink the water they can have a bad stomach which not the case but i will i don't want to risk it so i always bring my water or i buy it at the grocery store buy like a, a big bottle of water and just give them that water. Oh, 
is full and heavy it takes some time but <laughs> i will do it anyway i need to find better way to do it tomorrow i'm leaving and i don't have time tomorrow to do it so i just fill it today and i just add some ice tomorrow and ready to go Today, Thursday, I'm leaving for the dog show. This time is Michigan. Alice and Tamara goes with me. And I'm so excited because I will stay with my friends and we will have a very good time. Let's go. Driving in Ohio, we won't drive. I will not bore you this time with my big speeches like I did in my last vlog. Check it out if you didn't watch it, but it's very boring. Yeah, we stop at rest center and nothing to do right here. So I will sing the song for you and you have to guess which song I'm singing. I will give you a little clue. Stu Songs is my favorite all-time band and it's all guys in there. Okay, let's see if you can guess this one. So it's finished for today and we are leaving for Canada to see my family and one more thing I want to show you what I bring with me all the time when I travel with the dogs is my very big veterinarian bag. I have lots of stuff in there. My brother Griffon in general has sensitive stomachs so I always have probiotic with me, I always have medication if they have diarrhea. I will quickly show you what inside. Actually, it's all packed with different stuff and I don't leave the house without this They will not ask me anything, right? There. Uh, what was that? They will not ask me for a receipt. No, no. Okay, okay thank you. Oh, inhale. Yes. I get a bit nervous. Even I have no reason to be nervous. Sunglasses off. Wow. Not easy. Sorry, I'm a bit far. <laughs> Where do you live? Uh, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Venetia. What's the purpose of your trip? Um, my uh, family lives here. I'm visiting them. Family? Yes, on my husband's side. Your husband's side? Yeah. Does your husband live here? Or? No, my husband in America. My cousin, he they celebrate his birthday today, and okay. I was visiting my friend in Michigan. I'm like, I will just come and. How many days are you here for? I will come back today. Do you have alcohol or tobacco vehicle? No, I don't. Firearms or weapons? No. What all do you have? I can see you have some stuff back here. What's uh, here? that's a dogs. Okay, how many dogs do you open the window down? Uh, the window down? Ah, uh, yes. You have two dogs? Yes. Are they both yours? Yes. Are they coming back with me. Is anything back here staying? Yeah. No, nothing staying. There you go. Bye bye. Thank you very much. That was easy. Welcome to Canada! What do you have to do 
do before you go to Canada, it's obligations go arrive right, Canada, you still have to fill everything. So you have to be vaccinated, double vaccinated. Yes, I think it's or if it's Johnson Johnson probably just once, I don't know. So I'm double vaccinated plus I had booster and you fill this application, they will ask you questions, they will ask you to take picture of your passport, take picture of your vaccination card, if you're not vaccinated, if you're not allowed, again, just keep that in mind. They never ask for a receipt, so when you fill everything, they will give you a receipt and it's QR code. They will, they never ask us. As many times we cross the border, they never ask anything. But if you don't fill it, and they probably have it in the system already. So, but if you don't do that, it's a 5,000 uh, fees, I believe it says on the website. So go on the website and look what you need to do. It's a, basically like a, a list of what you have to do. So just go on the website and make sure you have everything with you. And when you travel with dogs, make sure you have the rabies vaccination. I have the rabies vaccination with me and also they have uh, all their vaccinations, what they have, just in case. As many times we travel to Canada with dogs, they never ask. They ask just once and that was a while ago. So now I travel with two dogs. They've been nice and quiet. I thought they would bark their heads off, but they were nice and quiet. They're probably resting. He asked me to open the window, but he never asked me to open the cover. So the cage covered. He didn't see how many dogs I have. He never asked me how many, like, well, he did ask. Yeah, he did ask how many dogs, but he never checked. Yeah, it, was, it wasn't difficult. Just make sure you prepared. So make sure you have everything with you. Even they will not ask you to have it with you because they may ask and you don't have it in your travel. Quick interruption, this part of the video was filmed in September 17, 2022 when I arrived in Canada and vaccination was a requirement to cross Canadian border. Now it's probably not the case, but to cross border with the dogs, you still need rapid vaccination certificate. Back to video. It was a nice short trip. super easy. I love it. Privilege of global entering. No question asked. No, just about dogs. That's pretty much it. <laughs> I love it. If you travel international often, you get global entry. That will save so much headache and time. You can enter country by land, like I did right now, or you can enter by plane, and you go special line, and we're flying, if you're flying, it's a TSA pre, I think that's what it's called, you don't have to take your shoes off, you go special line, it's much faster at the airport, so I really love it. On the way home somewhere in Ohio, just put the gas in and I just want to show you one more thing I use for my dogs when I travel. So I always bring my own food, I just put it in the ziplock. I try to not feed dog while I'm driving because the mother get motion sickness and always bring my own walls for the dogs. And um, if you travel to Canada, on the website it says you have to bring an open package of food, but I always travel with this ziplock with the food. Nobody ever asked anything. 
we we crossed the border with the dog so many times and we never had the issue okay. but if you worry about that just uh, buy a small pack of food and just go with that pack one more thing i like to use this is the other it's good for summertime when you travel in summertime if you need to leave your dog in a car for a couple of minutes and it's a bit hot outside and you're not allowed to take dog in a building i put my turn i turn my fan on and go quickly to the bathroom for a couple of minutes and come back that helps or if we're at the dog show and they're sitting outside and it's too hot i just put this fan on and it's helped them to cool down we're back home from our short trip to michigan and canada and i want to show you one more item i didn't i didn't know it will become essential for me to travel with the dogs it's a stroller I got this item three years ago. I got different stroller, was much smaller, but a very naughty puppy destroyed at the first dog show. And this stroller fit to my brassic griffons, no problem, very comfortable. I put squishy pillow inside because it's what inside is the thin plastic with the cover, it's not very for them so they love this one they rest in there if it's summertime i can take them inside rest centers just close this part right here and the dogs feel comfortable and nobody ever told me anything even it says pets not allowed so stroller my to go item when i travel with the dogs two more items i want to show you it's uh, dog leashes and the dog treats, long lasting dog treats. So leashes, I use very simple one. It's cotton leashes, one this style. And other, it's just a loop, it go like this around the neck. And this is leather stopper to control how big it can open. I use this all the time. No collars, no other leashes, it's just this piece. If you read or watch that TV show with the Caesar Milan, that type of leashes he recommend. I got them not because Caesar Milan recommend, I got them because they are very comfortable for me. And I use them at the dog show, I use them when we go for walks. I used to use flexi leashes, not anymore. My dog's thinking I'm taking them for a walk right now. They get very excited. And the last item, it's a long lasting dog trees. My dog likes Nipotellas and bullet sticks, they both stinks, but they last forever and dogs really enjoy them, especially when they're long, long rides, so they don't sleep all the time, so they need to do something with themselves. So they, I take this and this with me, if you like. My dogs, it's, it doesn't smell good, if you, but if you can tolerate the stinks, that's the best treat I would recommend. If you wonder at the bread, it's this. Nothing sponsored, like I said, in this uh, channel. It just, that's what they buy for them and that's what they love. And that's it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. Maybe I forgot something yeah, I will put in description box and also leave me comments below what you take with you on your long trips with the dogs. And see you next time. Bye.